Hello, mighty companions. This is your mask miracle man. This is your mask miracle man, Earl Purdy, uh, getting ready to do lesson 183 from A Course in Miracles. I call upon God's name and on my own. I call upon God's name and on my own. I call upon God's name and upon my own. Do you know God's name is no more innocent and no more holier, which is innocent, than yours? To call upon God's name is but to call upon your own. A father gives his son his name and thus identifies the son with him. His brothers share his name and thus they are united in a bond in which they turn for their identity. Your father's name, your creator's name reminds you of who you are. Even within a world that doesn't know who you are. Even though you have not remembered who you are. Do you know that your creator's name cannot be heard without response, nor said without an echo in the mind that calls you to remember? Say your creator's name and you invite the angels to surround you and to surround the ground on which you stand and sing to you as they spread out, as they spread out their wings to keep you safe and shelter you from every worldly thought that would intrude upon your innocence. Repeat God's name and all the world responds by laying down illusions. And by the way, God's name <clears throat> is God. Every dream the world holds clear, every dream the world holds dear has suddenly gone by, and where it seemed to stand, you find a star, which is a miracle of grace. The sick arise, the healed, the sick arise, healed of their sickly thoughts. The blind can see, the deaf can hear, the sorrowful cast off their mourning, and the tears of pain are dried as happy laughter comes to bless the world. Repeat the name of God, God. And little names have lost their meaning. No temptation but becomes a nameless and unwanted thing before God's name. Repeat God's name, God, and see how easily <clears throat> you will forget the names of all the gods you valued. All the gods you valued have lost the name of God you gave them. All the gods you valued have become anonymous and valueless to you, before, although before you let the name of God replace their little names, you stood before them worshipfully, naming them as gods. Repeat the name of God, God, and call upon yourself, whose name is God's. Repeat God's name, God. And all the tiny nameless things on earth slip into right perspective. Those who call upon the name of God are not mistake. Though those who call upon the name of God cannot mistake the nameless for the name, nor sin for grace, nor bodies for the innocent child of God. And should you join a brother, should you join a person, as you sit with them in silence and repeat God's name, God, 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 along with that person within your quiet mind, you have established there an altar that reaches to God himself and to God's creation. Practice but this today. Repeat God's name. Practice but this today. Repeat God's name slowly again and still again. Become oblivious to every name of God. Hear nothing else. Let all your thoughts be anchored but on the name of God. Nor the word we use except at the beginning when we say today's idea but once. I call upon God's name and on my own. You call upon God's name and on your own. And then God's name becomes our only thought, our only word, the only thing that occupies our minds, the only wish we have, the only sound with any meaning, and the only name of anything that we desire to see of everything we would call our own. Thus do we give invitation, which can never be refused, and God will come and answer the invitation, God's self. Think not that God hears the little prayers of those who call on God with names of idols and false ideas cherished by the world. They cannot reach God that way. God cannot hear ego requests that God be not God, or that you receive another name than God. Repeat God's name, God, God. And you acknowledge God as your sole creator. You acknowledge God as sole creator of reality when you repeat God's name. And you acknowledge also that you, God's creation, is part of God, creating in God's name. Sit, sil sit silently and let God's name become the all-encompassing idea that holds your mind completely. Let all thoughts be still except this one. And to all other thoughts respond with this. To see God's name replace the thousand little names you gave your thoughts. And see God's name replace the thousand little names you gave your thoughts, not realizing that there is but one name for all that is and all that there will be. Today, you can achieve a state in which you will experience the gift of grace. You can escape all bondage of the world and give the world the same release you found. You can remember what the world forgot and offer it your own remembering. You can accept today the part you play in its healing and your own as well. And both your healing and the healing of the world can be accomplished perfectly. Turn to the name of God for your release, and your release is given you. No prayer but God is necessary, for it holds all prayers within it. Words are insignificant, and all requests unneeded. When God's Son, you, called on your Creator's name, your Father's thoughts become your own, 
you make your claim to all your creator gave is giving still and will forever give. You call on your creator to let all things you thought be made. You will let you want to let all things you thought be made. Or you want to let all things you thought be made into something nameless now. He calls on him to let all things he thought he made be nameless now. And in their place, the holy healing name of God becomes your judgment of their worthlessness. Do you know that all little things are silent? Little sounds are soundless now. The little things of earth have disappeared. The universe consists of nothing but the child of God who calls upon his creator or her creator. And your creator's voice gives answer in your creator's innocent name. In this eternal, still relationship, in which communication far transcends our words, and yet exceeds in depth and height, whatever words could possibly convey, is peace eternal. Is peace eternal. In our Father's name, we would experience this peace eternal today. And in our Creator's name, this peace eternal shall be given us in our Creator's name. And so our lesson today, 183, is I call upon God's name and on my own. I call upon God's name and 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 my own. I call upon God's name in my own name. I call upon God's name in my own name. I call upon God's name in my own name. I call upon God's name in my own name. I call upon God's name in my own name. I call upon God's name in my own in my own. I call upon God's name and on my own. I call upon God's name and on my own name. I call upon God's name and on my own name. I call upon God's name and on my own name. I call upon God's name and on my own name. I call upon God's name and on my own name. I call upon God's name and on my own name. I call upon God's name and on my own. On my own. Take a breath, take a breath, take a breath, take a breath, take a breath. You call upon God's name and your own. 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 You call upon God's name and own your own. You call upon God's name and own your own. You call upon God's name and own your own name. You call upon God's name and own your own name. Your own name, <clears throat> your own name is God's name. 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 <clears throat> You call upon God's name and own your own. You call upon God's name and own your own. I call upon God's name and own my own. I call upon God's name and own my own. I call upon God's name and own my own. I call upon God's name and own my own. I call upon God's name and own my own. I call upon God's name and own my own. I call upon God's name and own my own. I call upon God's name and own my own. You call upon God's name and own your own. Mighty companion, this is Earl. Rise, Purdy, the Masked Miracle Man, and let peace extend from my mind and my heart to yours. And check out my website at www.earlpurdy.com. Peace.